Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Let's talk about D9VK. D9VK is to DirectX 9 what DXVK is to other versions of DirectX. Um, D9VK uh, takes all them D9 commands and throws them through Vulkan. Like a, like a super powered Vulkan corridor of awesome. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, but <laughs> the, uh, the DXVK, not, DXVK uh, is well known as being a great thing. And D9VK shaped up to be just as great, but for older games. Now, it's not quite as astonishing because older games tend to have better performance anyway. But there are some older games, such as Borderlands 2. We'll get to why I'm doing that in a minute. Um, as, you know, they could do with that extra boost. And it's really nice to see extra boost. And if you've got low, you need less hardware to run them properly and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's fine. It's, it's it's good to see uh, and it's an early project so there's still going to be the odd caveat with it but right now there's a few games that run perfectly with it Guild Wars 2 is known to run amazing with it Borderlands 2 runs great but why would you want to run Borderlands 2 it's got it's got a Linux version right well the Ultra HD uh, the UHD no the new HD the HD texture pack isn't available for Linux yet um, neither is the uh, the escape from no not the escape from the defensive set the new, the new DLC there's this new free DLC for Borderlands which connects Borderlands uh, 2 and Borderlands 3. While I'm not too interested in Borderlands 3, because, you know, Epic Store, pff, uh, it is it's something I want to play in Borderlands 2. Uh, so I'm just happy to, I want to have a look. So uh, obviously I couldn't play those things using the Linux version, so I installed the Windows version through Steam as a Proton game. Um, performance was not amazing. I wasn't enamored with the performance, right? Um, also, side note, when I reinstalled the Linux version, don't know what happened, but it fucked up my save game, and I lost my characters. So, yeah, it pissed me off. Uh, anyway, it wasn't too bad because the Windows version uh, allows you to create to generate a level thirty character off the get go, so that you can experience the Battle for Sanctuary stuff, um, the new DLC stuff, which is cool. So I'm not, I was annoyed, but I wasn't like you know frighteningly pissed off. It did make me realise though, it wouldn't hurt if Steam would let you browse your Steam archive. Like, like, here's all the save games we've had for the last month for you. Pick out one that you want. That'd be great, that would, wouldn't it? That'd be fucking great. Not every game could... I mean, maybe there's reasons they can't do that. I don't know. Maybe, you know, but, like, surely with Borderlands, we could just have an archive of save games. That wouldn't be a lot to ask, would it? Maybe we should do nightly backups of these things. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, how do we set up D9VK? Because Lutris doesn't really see it in a way that's, like, you know... He doesn't really see it, let's just say that. Um, so how do we do it? Well, this is the D9VK GitLab, uh, GitHub page, there we go. Um, and you can see up here, I've downloaded D9VK 1-2. How did I find that? Went to releases. Oh, and I clicked on this and it started downloading. And I downloaded it. There you go. I downloaded the most recent release, 0 0.1.2. And then I, I go into here and uh, extract it, which I've already done here. And look what's in the folder. Ooh, there's a DXVK folder. That's weird. It's not weird. It's for compatibility as well as the fact that um, D9VK is based on the DXVK code base. Um, so it makes sense there's going to be similarities in the occasional naming overlap, but this is for compatibility reasons. It works for me. Anyway, what do we want to do with that stuff? Well, there's this folder on your hard drive called dot lo the home slash dot local. So it's hidden file local. Share, Lutris, runtime, DXVK. Uh, if you go into just the Lutris folder, you'll see this runtime folder here. Uh, and then you're going to DXVK there. Now, all you do is you make a folder called mean D9VK. You can see here I've done some things where I've had different versions. So I've made different vault. I've left the folder as the version name. You can do that if you want, but you need to remember what you've not called it. So just D9VK for the newest version. Copy your stuff in there. You can see it's all the stuff that was in that folder there, right? It's fine. Now, when we go to DXV, oh, I've got now I'm getting messages. Oh, okay. Um, now, when we go to Lutris, uh, we need to restart Lutris first, obviously. And then we go to configure. Once we can figure and we can go to runner then, and then we can go enable DX9VK. Now, uh, you set this to manual here, right? Because these are all the different versions of, of DXVK you know it's about. Set it to manual, right? And in here, right, D9VK. Or whatever that folder, whatever that folder was called, right? You just call it whatever that folder was called that you made. In our case, it was D9VK for, for easy remembering. Or easy of remembering, easy remembering, I don't know. Um <laughs> DX, so D9VK right there. Then we enable D9VK with the tick of a box there, right? And there you go, look, tick, tick, and enable it. Enable D9VK, put it on manual. Oh, no, look at that. I'm an idiot. I've put that in the wrong box there, and I look. And then I took a screenshot because I'm an idiot. Um, so, so, yeah, we'll do that again, shall we? Uh, yeah, look, enable, and then in there we write D9VK. This one should be blank. I was in the wrong box. 
Uh, there's lots of other options we can use here. Um, it's up to you what you use. One thing I would say is worth looking at though is if you're having a problem with the mouse leaving the uh, with the mouse leaving the game, you may want to look at your version of Wine because different versions of Wine have different quirks. And I found the more recent versions of Wine for some reason that my mouse just leaves the window, which is crazy. Or you turn left too far and you're like, oh, now I'm in Discord, uh, which is <laughs> which is something of an nightmare as you can imagine. Um, for me, that's a bit of a problem, you know. Um, anyway, uh, what do we do then? Uh, the other things, little tips. Then, if we go to system information, um, the installer I use. The, the, again, I'm not telling you how to install games on Lutris. You already know that. But the Lutris Borderlands launcher in, installer doesn't really do a bang up job. It's not wrong, but I'd like a newer version of stuff. Anyway, uh, one of the things it does here is put all these variables in there. Now I've changed DX VK hood, which is D9 VK hood, I suppose. To FPS. What that means is we'll have an FPS counter in the game if D9VK is working. If D9VK is not working, we will not have a hood. We'll have nothing there in the top top left corner. I've also put the shader cache folder on my SSD, which means that it'll be a little bit quicker. I'm not sure if it's gonna make much of a difference on a game like this, but it'll be a bit quicker. And you know, we've got we've got persistent caches there and stuff anyway. So we can cancel that now. And just to show it works, we'll launch it. Now it'll be a bit loaded now, so I'll have to talk nonsense for a little bit. But, you know, there you go. Uh, I'll use a virtual desktop as well. I like that. It lets me change screens without it doing any weird resizer issues. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just a fan of that. Uh, logging in now. I assure you, it will work. <laughs> you watch now, it's not going to fuck you. Watch the, well, I'm recording now. It'll go, nope, fuck you. Nope, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So if it works, we'll see, we'll see the FPS in the top left corner. If it's not working, there's no FPS. So, fingers crossed. I'm getting all excited now. I'm getting all like... Getting all like my, my tail's wagging. I'm all excited. It's gonna be great. Yay! There you go. Uh, that that's that FP that little thing. I'm gonna take these headphones off because it's really loud on my computer. Um, I'll turn it now for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, that's really loud. Actually, you can hear some headphones. Um, yeah, I should probably turn down the game properly anyway. But uh, we'll jump in and a little quick look around there. So do do do. When this icon is displayed, your progress has been saved. No shit, Borderlands. Just straight in there, yeah. But I got the one character now. It's fucking save games. I was so pissed off, guys. I was so pissed off about the save game thing. It was, I was livid, I was. I was livid. Um, anyway, come on. We should be able to get in any second now. Borderlands has this whole preamble. It has to check everything before you start. And all you need to do is hit enter when you get in. So you can just sit there and go, pow, 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 and enter. Wait for it to load. Yay, and now we're going to see... I should get, there you go, do, do, keep it a second, and we should be getting around, as soon as it's loading, we should get like 50 FPS. Um, it's uh, still, I would think it's still building a shader cache of sorts. Um, I would also say that I am recording the desktop, not capturing the game. So if you see any tearing, it's just because of the recording, and it's also affecting my frame rates by about 15 frames a second across the board, which is fine for me, uh, because I don't usually play it like this this way it's fine but usually i'm getting an even 60 which is fine uh you can i also haven't really tinkered with the settings i've been messing around with dxvk more than tweaking settings just making just making sure just making sure it works you know just making sure it's uh yeah just making sure everything's all right um i would say the new textures though um let's have a look where's the uh where's something we can oh there you go there's them boxes that box up there look jump up on there you remember these boxes in borderlands 2 look oh with the texture pack now look it actually looks like you know Actually, it looks like wood, actually. But, like, everything looks fine. There's no pixels everywhere. It's just a very slight improvement all across the board. It would have been nicer to have more of an improvement, to be honest. But uh, the Borderlands is the kind of game where improving it too greatly isn't probably not going to result in a better-looking game. It's probably looking a weird-looking game. Um, but you can actually make it a bottom of coffee cups and stuff there now, which is really cool. Um, yeah, all in all, nice. Draw distance is a bit higher. Um, I've just set everything on Ultra across the board here. Um, I may even have these in common, which is why I'm not getting a higher frame rate. I'll have a look in a bit. Um, but lighting, like I said, I, I know the patch hasn't has only affected textures, but the lighting looks more like it like, pops a little bit more. You know, it just really like pops, um, and we can uh, we can see here like graffiti and stuff. Can't read it, but you know, it it looks more like words now than it did before. It's more than passable. It looks like a modern game, basically. Yeah, happy with it. And as you can see, D nine VK is fine. We change areas, go in the menu, go in, go in you know go in the uh, go in the things. Everything's absolutely fine. And it's just crashed to prove me. <laughs> Prove me wrong. That's what you get for using the newest version of D9VK. Maybe use the previous build, guys. Uh, but you, <laughs> you don't believe that. It's just great. Honestly, I'll be fucking around this for like an hour. And now it decides to crash. I'm going to leave that in the video. That's fucking fine. In 44 minutes, I'll be fucking around with that. And it's not crashed. I was like, I'll make a video. And now it's <laughs> crashed on me. All right, yeah, maybe not. Maybe let's not use the newest version of D9VK. 
gold, gold is what you come on, professionalism. But that's how you set it up. Um, different versions of Dino VK to mess with, different versions of wine to mess with. You, you be the judge, guys. You figure it out. It's going to be great. Thank you for watching. I've been Hex to yourself. Goodbye.